Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the eighth edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will show you how to use the sampler and how to add your own samples in DJ Pro 2. Let's get started. So if you didn't already know how to get to the sampler in DJ Pro 2, you all you got to do is click on this little 3x3 grid and that is where the sampler uh, is. And the first thing that I want to mention is that the uh, default samples right here are pretty loud. So the first thing I would recommend is turning the volume down uh, somewhere about there, just so your uh, samples don't overpower your tracks. To play a sample, you just click on the sample that you want to play. And that's it. Right now, we only see three samples per deck, uh, six in total. If you want to see uh, six samples per deck, all you gotta do is click right here and then go down where it says number of samples and then click 12. And now you see uh, that each side has double the amount of samples that it has. DJ Pro 2 comes with five uh, different sample preset packs. So you have your essentials right here, which we're, that's what we're on right now. Uh, you have sound effects, uh, you have the dubstep pack, the DJ Qbert beat kit, and the milk and sugar pack. All of these samples used in these packs uh, are able to be used in your own preset packs as well. To make a new preset pack, all you gotta do is click down here where it says save new preset, and it will default, give it the name preset one. But if you wanna rena rename that or delete it, you click right here, uh, and then click rename or delete, whatever you wanna do. So I'll, re I'll rename this to test and we'll use this one for the uh, tutorial. Now my test sample pack is, I believe this was the milk and sugar, let's see. Yeah, that was the milk and sugar pack. Uh, but now we can edit it without affecting the milk and sugar pack. To add your own samples, uh, you actually do that outside of the software. Uh, so I'm going to exit out of the software right now or I'll zoom out for now. You go to Finder, then you go to Music, DJ Pro 2, Samples, and this is the folder that you would click and drag samples. I've already dragged uh, one of my sound effect samples in here just to show you, but all you have to do is uh, click it wherever if you wanna open a new Finder window or if it's on your desktop or whatever, and then just drag it into this folder. Once you drag this into your folder, uh, you do need to restart the software. So um, I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to quit out of DJ Pro and then launch it again. And now we're back to the screen that we were. And I'm going to full screen this. Now we can start to edit our test sample pack and we can add our new sample that we added or that I had added previously. So to edit, you just click on this uh, pencil tool, and now you see that all of these sample buttons have these three little dots um, on the top right of it, and that's where you would edit it. So let's say I want to get rid of this MS crash. What I would do is click here, and then I can choose a sample. I can actually change it to any of the samples that uh, are default, like I said earlier and you can pick any of the packs, or you can go to your samples, which is what we just added our sample to in that folder. So I'll click that, and now I see the Timmy G sound effect V2. So I'll click that, and then when I play it, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna turn the volume down again, this is what we hear. Timmy G. G, 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 G. So if you have all sorts of samples you want to add, um, then you can just repeat the process for all those files, drag them into that folder, and you can put them wherever you'd like in the software. If you want to change the color of any of these sample buttons, you just click on this pencil again. And then let's say I want to change MS Kick Reverb. Um, I would just click here, and then I could click any of these colors. Let's say I want it to be purple. So I could leave that there. Another cool thing you can do is you can uh, sample a track that's playing on one of your decks. 
Uh, but like a lot of the things, you cannot record a sample from a Spotify song. You'd have to do it from uh, one of your own songs that you own. So I will go to my iTunes and click and load It's Timmy G. And now let's say I want to sample the very beginning of this. What I would do is I would go back to the pencil. And let's say I want to get rid of MS Tom. I'll click these three dots in the top right. And what I'm going to click is this button right here, but it's instant and you have to hold onto it. So basically your sample will be however long you hold for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and then I'm going to um, hold the sampler for a little bit and then it will record. It's Timmy G. So now when I click the sample, we hear the part of the track that we recorded. If you didn't like it, you can click up here and uh, click this little arrow on the bottom right, and then you can move it to trash to delete it. If you want to record a sample from your microphone, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your microphone uh, is active on the software. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But you just do the same thing. You click and you record and then you let go. My microphone's not hooked up to DJ Pro 2 right now, so uh, it wouldn't work. But in order to uh, make that happen, you need to go into your settings, your preferences. And then for microphone, you, you would pick whatever microphone you wanted to use and then you'd hit apply. And that's about it uh, with the sampler. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you wanna see more content like this and check out my original music and DJ performances, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. <laughs>